On Halloween night, our department received various reports from concerned citizens regarding Mr. Metcalf. Supposedly, he had been distributing narcotics to the children who visited his house to trick or treat. 999, what's your emergency? I think my son has been drugged. I need an ambulance. Can you tell me more about what's happened, miss? I don't know. He was out trick or treating and oh, that bastard that Matt Cuff drugged him. We're on a church street. Please help me. I need some help. Okay, miss, help's on the way. Can you tell me more about who's done this to your son? Parents suspected Mr. Metcalf had laced his sweets with drugs. We took this accusation very seriously, and so we took Gareth in for questioning. The accusations about Gareth. They're a pack of lies, if you ask me. Well, Gareth is just the loveliest man. He's a pillar of this community. He... You know, he's always helping out. He picks up my kids from daycare. He always donates books, clothes to the charity shops. He even bakes brownies for the church bake sale. I don't know why people are sign up and putting stuff in the kids' sweets. Come in. Come on. Secret ingredient. Love, in it. That's what I'm all about. I love these kids. And he's one of my ex-students. Uh, the kids... The kids get on really well with him, and his cakes go down like a riot at the, at the, at the sale. Yeah, they sell out immediately. They've raised so much money for the school. Everyone just loves Gareth. Ah, oh, what a sweet boy. Or well, man, I should say now. Cake man. The samples came back from the lab and they confirmed that there were traces of illegal substances found in the Halloween sweets. So, where'd you get your uh, sweets from that you give to the kids? Just the um, local shop, as you can see. I haven't tampered with the packaging. There's nothing fishy going on here. I mean, you can also... Faulty packaging. What I get for buying 99p sweets, but... I'm in dire straits here. I can't exactly splurge as much as I would love to on the kids. It's just, it's just the reality of things. Now, any rumour that I've been putting anything else in this packaging is completely and utterly false. I'd like to clear that up now. I'm not doing anything illegal, so these rumours just need to stop. Would I trust my kid with Gareth? Of course I would. He's like a father figure to Parsley and Trundle. I mean, they have their own father, but these brownies are so good. Gareth made them himself. Do you want mum? Seriously, you want mum? You go. Okay. Mm, so good. Oh, they've got the special to the hard They're saying they're not. Got a fiver. Come on, come on. It's just uh, the special sort of um, ingredients I put in, put in my cooking. Who's, uh, who's that guy? He, it's the mate of mine. What, what did you say it was again? The special type of uh, yeast or rising powder, whatever you want to call it. Oh, oh yeah, I know Gaz, he's a great, great, great customer. Proper smack it. He's a bit, you know, he's one of the, he's nice, like he's chill, he'll talk to you, hang out, but he's a bit, Bit on the weird side. That's not on. You didn't. You didn't catch anything incriminating, did you? No. Well, do you guys want something like on the slide? That's really interesting. I'm good as now. Mhm. Hmm. I love Gara. That's amazing. investigation couldn't link these results back to Garrett and so we were unable to take legal action against him. It's all love. <laughs>